Karen Warden with Film Courage, the radio show. We're here outside the studio after our interview with Claire Wasman and Fernando Knorr, the, te the team behind the comedy The Grover Complex and also Partners in Pretension. And um, one of the questions that we wanted to get to was, um, what are you doing differently uh, with Partners in Pretension, the web series, that you didn't do with The Grover Complex? You had the indie film, it was a feature, and now you've taken on these series of, of web, you know, shows. What, what kind of lessons have you learned? Um, we've definitely learned if it's, uh, uh, for Grover, it's, you know, not a subject that a lot of people are comfortable with. And we didn't do much social media before we actually finished the film or before I got a trailer. And so then it was like, got the film done, got a trailer, and bam, please everyone pay attention to us. Um, and that's not really how it works. I mean, it's especially with the, the context of the film, I think if we had started before with more of like follow us through production, uh, follow us through our ideas, um, I think um, it would have been a better way to kind of ease people in. So definitely for partnership pretension, we're trying to get people involved well before um, we have everything finished. We're doing like a character blog, um, trying to get a Twitter going just so we have some sort of connection with people before we actually have footage and we just expect people to to take notice. Yeah. We just have to like, you know, uh, get some sort of like, I would say, audience that, you know, that are interested in it, like, before it's, it's finished. Because with, with Grover, it was just like, we finished it and then, I mean, we had no, why, did I even have a Facebook back then? <laughs> I think I did. I didn't even have Twitter, so I didn't have any of that stuff. But uh, you know, now with partners, like we have, uh, we have all those accounts <laughs> where people can like follow us and see the progress we're making. With Grover, we made everything until the movie was done. Um, yeah. So it was just, I don't know. That was. Uh, and we a do mistake. plan on, yeah, doing. Uh, we have a marketing budget. And we do plan on getting um, some people. Uh, people involved for the marketing because the web is so full of so much content and even if you do get social media going I mean what is to make people pay attention to yours over over other ones so um, we are going to be having people do a, a media strategy for us yeah. otherwise you know if it's just supposed to show on the web and you can't get people on the web to, to watch then you've kind of wasted your time right. <laughs> besides the experience a great experience. So what's the reason that you're doing a web series now when you've already done a successful film? What's Where's this shift come into play? Um, like we have some feature scripts we'd like to do later. I wanted to get into directing and we knew that if I just had a feature length film and I was like I've never directed before give me a directing job, then I think people would look at us like we were nuts. And also, it was something that felt like a more manageable size after we finished the feature. Um, you know, there's that. For some people, it's, you finish the film, you think everything's going to be magic, and then it's not immediately magic, and you poof, the mood goes down. So it's like, instead of throwing ourselves into another feature film, let's do a web series, which is more manageable bites, um, will kind of flex different muscles and keeping things concise and keep us busy. I think it's important to keep yourself busy. And then also, um, as I mentioned, there's hopefully kind of a tie-in between the two projects. If you like Grover, hopefully you should like Aspects of Partners of Pretension. If you like Partners of Pretension, there should be things in the Grover Complex that you enjoy. Yeah, I know, definitely. Just getting out of the uh that depression from the feature, you know, so it's just, uh, to keep doing projects and just get more experience, uh, you know, just, just keep adding to our, based to our experience, basically, and, uh, you know, a feature is just so much work, and so painful to make, because, like, like you said, all the, the marketing, getting, like, a crew together for so many days, that's, with a web series, we can, shoot like uh, smaller uh, episodes, you know, 10 and 12 minute ones, and uh, you know, it's it's just more experience, adding more, you know, uh, experience. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
So where does that rebirth come from when you're in that depression and you're eating junk food and you're watching Access Hollywood <laughs> for a couple days? Where, where, where do you say, you know what, I'm going to do this again, okay? And it didn't happen the way I wanted it to turn out, but where does that rebirth occur? Well, uh, well okay, well for me, it's just listening to certain songs or something or just uh, watching boxing or, or any kind of things thing with sports for me because it's just inspirational you know it's like you can do it you know so anything that it can come from music movies sports uh you know just that drive you know uh, I, I don't know it's just to keep going um it just can come from anywhere a speaker <laughs> you yeah, know inspired by a speaker i think yeah. everyone should have a couple books Books. Or something that they Books. like, you know, that they can always go to uh, with certain lessons or, or biographies of people they like. Just something they can draw on. And then I think we just thought back to how much energy we had during the feature. Like, I was like working a 9 to 5, then after that we'd go to rehearsals or we'd go to pre-production planning, but we just had like endless energy. And it's like, we want to get back to that. How do we get back to that and see excitement? So it's like, even though you're down, it's like, if you can think back to things that made you happy, even I'm though you know place. yeah, you're potentially <laughs> going to head back to feeling down again. Um, but I think that's a mistake a lot of people make. And we had teachers tell us, after you make something, have something else ready to go. And we had more big projects ready to go um, that we just weren't ready to stomach yet. So I think even if, when you get done with, a feature, if you have a few scenes to shoot, or you have something else you're working on that feels manageable after, you know, putting so much energy into a feature that's better than just waiting for something to happen and um, just have little activities. Well, I mean, for me, after uh, just finishing the feature and having projects going uh, simultaneously, I think for a first feature, and that is so easy to say, but so hard to do. Because, I mean, like, you can have, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it would be amazing to have a, a, projects going simultaneously, but you need to focus, if it's your first feature, or it's your first project, you've got to have that first project be done right, you know, instead of, like, focusing on, uh, on another project that you might be directing or anything. I mean, if it's your first project, you need to make sure it's... Nurture. It, yeah, I mean, it's, you need to make sure that you do the... the do it right. Do do the do a good job on it. You know. So I I mean it just I mean yeah like teachers did say like to have other projects going, but I mean it's so easy to say, but it's so hard to do. Yeah. Especially when you're like uh, when you have two producers on 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 the project and you have no marketing strategy or no assistance or none of that stuff. How are you gonna have another project going when you don't even have like any marketing for this other one or any post-production experience, you're like basically learning on the job, you know? So, hey, I mean, if other people could do it, that's cool, but for a first feature, I just find it so, it's so hard, you know? And lastly, how do you plan on releasing the web series, Partners in Pretension? Um, we plan on trying to go through like a, or um, we think we want to do it weekly, every it deals with, um, there's a story episode and then there's like a fun, more interactive uh, how-to episode. And so, at least for the first one, we're going to release those together. But basically, um, we have episodes and then we have additional bonus content that are almost as long as some other web series. Like sometimes, you know, web series are like two to three minutes long. And that's about the length of our how-tos. Um, whereas our story episodes are like over 10 minutes long. So um, I mean, we plan on releasing those together probably weekly. Um, and we'd like to tie in somehow to our audience, um, or which we think that you know a lot of college kids will like the, the program. And, uh, they better like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, when we hopefully getting some sponsorship, we're talking. Yeah with that stuff too, so. Just having a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Not just going into it like uh, a miracle's gonna happen, but just <laughs> having a plan. That's yes. so important. Don't give up, but don't think that there's gonna be some divine intervention. Right. You still have to push through it. Yes, push, I mean, 
I mean, it's great to have like that quality and everything uh, to do a fantastic job in your movie and everything. But you also got to have that audience and just people wanting to see it because I mean, there's so much stuff that you see just out of because of marketing, you know. Uh, so, uh, damn, marketing is hard. Yeah. Clearly, I, 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 <laughs> talk about marketing. <laughs> I mean, if you don't know, I mean, I think it's it's a learning process. Yeah. If you don't know something, if you don't think you have a handle on it, then that's when I think you do get somebody right. else involved. Like yeah. we we've done most things ourselves, but then we try to admit, or at least be conscious of when yeah, it's a maybe this is not thing. our best area. And so then we that's why for the feature we've given it off to you know a sales rep because um, in terms of us handling it ourselves, I think it would take longer and we yeah. might, might get severely taken advantage of. <laughs> We've sent too many DVDs out with no response that we just like, you know what, like, this is an aspect that we don't really know much about that we need somebody to uh, help us out with, you know. So yeah, so we will be having someone manage that for us yeah. for the web series.